Hey guys, Andrew Kayley from Covers here, and we're gonna take a look at the MLB schedule for today. Yesterday's the line drive picks got off to a great start. Happy Jacob DeGrom Day, and today we're gonna look at two more matchups plus a hot starter. Let's get into it. Okay, so first up, we're taking a look at tonight's game at the Trop between the Astros and Rays. Boy, the Astros made a bit of a statement roughing up Blake Snell last night, but their success on the road shouldn't come as a surprise to the regular backers. Houston had a plus 198 run difference on the road last season. Including yesterday's game, the Astros are 50 and 32 against the run line in their last 82 road games. For game two, it's former Astro Charlie Morton going up against Houston's Garrett Cole. Morton may not like life without the support of that epic Astros lineup, while Cole has pitched to a 2.77 ERA and a 109 whip on the road last season. I like this trend to continue, take the Astros on the run line. Next up, we've got the Giants and Padres in San Diego, and it could be a long year for the Giants. San Fran was shut out 2-0 in its opener against the Padres, and it could be a sign of the team's offensive woes to come. The team that ranked 29th in average home runs at OPS last season might be worse in 2019. All their best players are on the decline, and the prospect cupboards are bare. We may have found our first new trend for 2019. Take the Giants team total under three and a half. And our streaking pitcher of the day is Red Sox Nathan Eovaldi. It's going to be interesting to see how he fares after signing his big contract this offseason after his remarkable postseason run. Eovaldi and the Red Sox are minus 150 road faves tonight in Seattle, where the total currently sits at eight. Okay guys, so there you have it. Quickly as a recap, we've got the Astros on the run line tonight at the Trop, plus we've got the Giants under three and a half team total in San Diego. For a complete MLB analysis, check out Line Drive on our homepage, and as always, follow us on Twitter, at Covers.